So you might be trying to figure out how you can go through and basically merge or, you know, get all of your iCloud accounts or iCloud contacts that you've had from iCloud to your iPhone. Long way to wait to word it, long way to word it. But essentially, it's a very, very basic process. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to make your way over to your settings application on your particular iPhone. When you do that, you'll come to this particular page. Now, what you're going to want to do here is you want to go ahead and click on your name that's on the top of the settings panel right here and you wanna tap on it. Now when you do that, you'll come into this next particular page. Now what you wanna do is you wanna click on the iCloud button that comes up right down here. So tap on the iCloud and this next page is going to come up. Now what you're going to wanna do here is when you scroll down a little bit, you're going to see this little show all button. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on show all and this next panel is basically going to come up. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do within this button right here is right here where it says contacts, you wanna go ahead and basically turn this on. Now, if this is off like this, basically this is going to be the problem. But you can see right here that if you really wanted to turn off your contacts and you wanna keep them on your iPhone, you can click on keep on my iPhone and you can still retain those contacts that you've had on your device on your iPhone physically and they'll be removed. They won't be removed from your iCloud account, but they'll just be, they'll just won't be available on your iCloud account. They won't be syncing up anymore. So you can click on keep my iPhone or you can click on delete from my iPhone only if you wanna delete those from your iPhone. If you no longer want these contacts on your particular phone, you can click on delete from my iPhone and that'd be another thing you can kind of check out as well. Now, what you can do there is you can use your iPhone as you normally would. You can you know, modify it. You can do whatever you want to. It's a very basic process, but that is basically how it's done. So just make sure you're connected to an internet connection or a Wi-Fi connection. And that's basically all you're going to have to do here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.